Hi everyone. I'm Ziaur Rahman from Houston. I was approached by the UET Alumni Association Lahore to make a short video for uh, the young UET alumni about my professional journey. So here I am. Well, to cover a long story in a short few minutes video, I had to write it down and I'm gonna read it through. So please bear with me on that. I would start with a brief intro. I'm a senior scientist in the space research and planetary science at the NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston under the US government JETS contract at the Astro Materials Research and Exploration Science. I'm gonna come back with more details on this later but first, I would like to go back to my UET time and share with you the story of my professional journey from there. I studied metallurgical engineering from UET Lahore and later electronics engineering from NED University, Daud College of Engineering, engineering and Technology. UET being the mother institution provided me the platform and developed in me the interest and confidence that led me to become an engineering professional and a scientist later on. I got hired as a young engineer by the leading electronic electron microscope manufacturers, Japan Electron Optics Laboratories with the head office in Tokyo, Japan. So to further my career, specializing in electron microscopy, I went to Japan. The many years of fellowship with JEOL enabled me become an electron microscopy professional in scanning and transmission electron microscopes and electron microprobe. During the next 10 years, I installed many electron microscopy facilities in Pakistan at universities and uh, various uh, key institutions uh, in, in the country. Uh, and uh, I have always felt a great pride in doing that. During that period and afterwards, I quite successfully ran my own businesses. One was the manufacturing of a variety of electronics goods and the other was uh, related to service and maintenance of the electron microscopes and other related scientific instruments. I moved to USA in 1997 when I was offered a research engineer come faculty position at the University of Central Florida in Orlando where I served for over 10 years at the materials characterization facility under the mechanical materials and aerospace engineering department. At UCF, I played a key role to help start and uh, set up a brand new materials research facility and install many electron microscopy laboratories and associated instruments. I also developed and taught a number of courses and collaborated with industrial partners in the Florida research corridor. At UCF, my research focus in materials science and nanotechnology resulted in a number of articles and publications in science journals, including electron microscopy investigations I performed on the recovered pieces of the inner cockpit of NASA's space shuttle Columbia after the very unfortunate incident and the loss. Well, the investigation was part of a collaboration with NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida, that got very much admired by the NASA and later published in a research paper with me as one of the authors. That study contributed towards the safety of astronauts in the space missions to follow. I moved to Houston in 2008 when I was offered a scientist and focused ion beam specialist position at the NASA Johnson Space Center in Astro Materials Research and Exploration Science. 
here in the current position where I am also the in charge of the focused ion beam laboratory. I study, investigate, run experiments, and analyze astro materials, the cool stuff we get from space. All those beautiful things ranging from lunar rocks, meteoroids, cosmic in and interplanetary dust, solar wind, comets, asteroids, orbital debris, and samples that we get from spacecrafts and International Space Station, ISS. At NASA, my research focus in lunar and planetary science uh, is about studying planets and their moons in our solar system and beyond. The, the phenomena of space weathering caused by solar wind and solar dust. I study, analyze meteoroids and orbital debris and also provide engineering support to NASA missions, etc. However, most of my projects and collaboration work is based on my expertise in electron microscopy, both the scanning and transmission types, focus ion beam and other sets of, uh, other set of instruments and techniques and we use uh, the term at NASA here, coordinated analysis for that. Talking about uh, NASA missions, I just got this update that tomorrow on October 20th, the NASA spacecraft OSIRIS-REx will execute its touch and go maneuver to collect samples from the asteroid Bennu secure the samples and will start its three years journey back to Earth. Asteroid Bennu is in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Those priceless samples are gonna come to my building in the curation department. The OSIRIS-REx sample lab is under construction right now uh, in my building. We are all excited because we will get to analyze those price, uh, priceless and those uh, rare pieces of the asteroids, which is something huge for the science. While there are so many missions in place and going everywhere in all directions, the future giant leap level of NASA missions include Artemis, which is back to the moon and to take the first woman and the next man to the moon in 2024. And the boots on Mars will be early to mid 2030s. Okay, getting back to my story now. In 2017, on 4th of July, the Independence Day of USA out of my Innovative curiosity, I used the ion beam to carve a tiny USA flag on a penny, right in the center of letter Y of the word liberty, for being only 8.35 micrometers in size. It is the smallest physically erected USA flag. And I believe I still hold that record. I have 41 reviewed publications in the science journals so far, while more are being worked on. I feel greatly honored that I've been bestowed with recognitions, awards, and honors for my little contributions and accomplishments. I feel greatly honored to have received NASA award for a new discovery and for being one of the eight scientists from four different countries who discovered a new mineral named vesonite, a titanium monosulfide from an Antarctic meteorite. I was a member of target submission team of NASA's Genesis mission and received NASA team award. The Genesis mission was a NASA spacecraft which was sent towards the sun to collect solar dust samples which are present in the solar wind. I feel honored to be a member of a team who has taken the lead 
sending the first electron microscope named Mochi SEM to space, to the ISS, with the future vision to develop and extend the technology for a moon base, the gateway station for moon, which would be similar to what ISS is for Earth, and potentially for Mars lander. The Mochi SEM is also the world's smallest scanning electron microscope. I was, it was launched in March 2020, and our team is involved in performing what we call the mission ops with the astronauts at the International Space Station. The National Geographic TV channel in 2011 aired a series, Naked Science, in which they talked about the alien fireballs, uh, the meteors as they enter and burn in the Earth's atmosphere, what they mean to NASA, and the important scientific information they possess. I feel greatly honored that myself and a colleague scientist demonstrated the NASA research work related to electron and ion microscopy of meteoroids in that NetGeo program. Well, that was actually a real cool episode. I would recommend watching it to those who want to learn more. So as always, I'm keen to focus on studies which connect the dots to show bigger picture and help solve the puzzles and mysteries to address the creation and formation of the universe, the solar system, life on our planet, as well as potential of extraterrestrial life and the questions like, are we alone? So as I wrap up my story, I believe it would be quite unfair without the mention of my enthusiasm for squash, the sport I play. Well, there is a strong connection. It was at the UET Lahore campus where I picked up the squash racket for the first time and that changed my life. Today, I play competitive squash in Houston, the league and the tournaments, and observe a ranking at the US Squash Records Association. That's another huge credit. I want to give it to UET from my campus life back in time. I participate in many other sports and run 5K, 10K races as well as cross training for squash, I believe, uh, that provide me the fuel, positive mind and energy to perform better and more in many in my profession while staying healthy and fit. Now, for the young alumni of UET and the current students, your dreams are possible. You just got to work through all those tough times, but you can do it. It is you who make the way for yourself and for others. Remember to dream high, stay focused, and have confidence and believe in yourself. They say, shoot for the stars, you will land on the moon. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs>